Hi everyone, this is the Beer Watcher. It's November, excuse me, it's December 11th, 2016. And before I show you this video, I need to, for those listeners who've never seen the cloaking system or the lens system in outer space, I'm going to try and go this real quickly. Please go back and watch the earlier videos that I've made on this, but I'm just going to make a quick reference to this. So the lens system, again, in outer space, uh, basically we can see the oscillating lens. We see the lenses here. These follow the horizon. And then we can see the oscillating Fred, Fresnel lens going above and below this <clears throat> the sun. Okay, these are obviously very huge and I believe now to be ultra thin translucent lenses that could bend light and we can see it cha shaping the focus point of the light <clears throat> please go back and watch the other videos i'm just showing you where we can see the lenses here the lenses here on the horizon always on the sunset and especially when you see these red petals here you know there's a lens system behind it approximately 200 in 50 miles in outer space in low orbit while the oscillating fake sun is much higher and closer to the sun in this Fresnel lens here, and then the projection, creating projections like a holographic style, we can see this oscillating Fresnel lens here, literally rotating like a projection. Okay, so when we see this thing set at the sun, we could see this thing rotate. So go back and watch these videos. You can see this thing oscillating here. That's pretty damning evidence if you ask me. Now, off the coast of Australia, <clears throat> there's a beach, Bondi Beach. <laughs> now I can manage to capture the entire time lapse. This is an update on a cloudy day, but it didn't start out. Now in this video, for a while here, you know, you're going to think this is Nibiru here, but it's not. It's an object caught in a spider web and it blows with the wind, seeing the wind blowing. Okay, I'm not falling for that. Okay, not. But what I do want to have you catch is this eclipsing sun. We can see the beginning of the shadows coming down. And look at the light drop on the entire beach. Okay, this is not a, just some object that casts a shadow this is a deep space shadow because behind the shadows is the actual object now the actual i also want to point out it that there's a point here in this video in the shite we could see notice here where my cursor is on this building we can see this thing shine and focus the light of the sun after the shadow shine see that that's pretty. So again, these are two planetary shadows, but behind the shadows are the actual planets. So let's keep going with the time lapse here. <laughs> again, I also want to point out the milky white skies we will always see all around the world, especially below the equator. And I did make a mistake. I didn't say it was below. I did say it was below the ecliptic plane. It's actually below the equator, more visible. That's why I don't think we're seeing this. On the northern hemisphere anymore this is now <clears throat> we're seeing it here because australia is the only real good place to see this below the equator as this system leaves us on its way back to the orion star system and i keep your eyes here the planetary object the milky white planet against the milky white camouflage chemtrail skies that we see during the sunset <clears throat> Again, here's another object caught. It's just not in a bureau, okay? But I want to show you. But as the sun is setting, look at the shadow lift, the real source of the shadow. Here, the shadow on the left, and behind the sun, the shadow on the right. We should give an illustration of this, but we can see that that these, the, let's put it this way, the sky would be much brighter if these planets weren't obscuring the light casting their shadow, but the shadow would lifts as the sun sets. And that's where the biggest threat to do the chemtrails, because since this system's coming in on the Earth's ecliptic plane, 
that's when the Earth shadow lifts from these two planets here and here. Not very visible, but that's where we're seeing these during the sunsets. The biggest threat. That's why we can see. Let's see if we can catch. So get anybody to see the shadows are the milky white round objects that never move with during a time lapse video. And there's our pesky little object, obviously caught in a spider eye for a while. I thought, wow, that looks like Nibiru. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, to see the way that it moves, we can see that it's in front of the clouds and everything else, and it suddenly appears and disappears. Yeah, I wonder if that was planted there too. Right, see how it moves with the wind. So let's watch this very carefully. Notice again, and some of you were going to say the planets could not possibly be that close. We'd have tides. Well, actually, we are having tidal issues. Uh, Australia is losing some of their beach. New York is losing some of their beach. But I think what's really confusing most people is the force of gravity, okay? There is no gravity. You guys got to get over that. It's a lie. It's magnetics, okay? We live in an electric universe. We, these planets, think of them as magnets that are repelling each other in space. They are, can be quite close without, the mechanics of this thing are electromechanical, okay? In, so don't think just two large objects will naturally attract each other. It doesn't work that way. The mechanics are electromechanical. Think of the spinning magnets. And uh, again, you can see, notice, there you go. Okay, you pause that. There, the sun is now beginning to light up this planet and this planet, and we can see put but again because of the projecting light system it appears to be almost in front of the clouds but it is there and we're seeing on many planets always these two planets neither one of them are Nibiru it moves too fast they would have moved there's three I've witnessed personally three planets and the fourth one from Nemesis would be the actual planet of Biru. Again, you can see that was an object near the lens, not on the lens. So I'm not falling for that one. Somebody planet, I'm not calling that a Biru. That's just an object in a spider lens. But what I am looking at is the hazy white planets right here. In the next video, I'd like to make and prove that around the world, that we have the chemtrail skies hiding with the Milky White. What a best way to hide. Look at these skies. Where's the bright blue sky anymore these days? Always going to look cloudy like that. And uh, they're having a very hard time spraying this because of the high winds that are always present on their extra still days. Look at that. See, behind the cloud, behind the shadow is the planet planet casting this shadow and another one here again due to the cloaking devices please go back and watch in my video archives how this works I also have in my video archives explaining how these planetary objects appear to be still in the sky as the earth rotates please go back and watch that video it's a software explanation I'll leave a links to those two videos the cloaking devices the sun simulator and the explanation of why these plants can be still in the sky because as they orbit around Nemesis and our sun, okay? Again, look at how the entire beach gets dimmed in light. Go back and do this yourself. As a matter of fact, you will notice that at some point during the sunset, dear, you will feel the sun leave your face. I have personally witnessed this and I hope to capture this on the first sunny day where I live. Anyways, please copy, like, share this video. God bless you all.